the Real Search here bringing you episode 4 of Tomb Raider the Anniversary Edition. We're just going to jump right in. We recently just opened up a big old overly complicated door. Uh, kind of kind of weird design, but that's okay. We enjoyed doing it, even though there's some terrifying water. And this is one of those slidey thingies. Gosh, dang it, I hate slidey thingies. Ooh, but shiny thingies on the other hand, I do like. And there's a wolf down here. That's okay, we got this, we got this. Oh, so awesome. Wait, I missed? Nope, 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 you're still alive, nope, there we go. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure if ever I'm going to be killed by something, it will probably be those wolves. So, hopefully everybody is having a good day today. I certainly am. Gosh, this thing's weird to control. Nope, it, uh, it's like, it's like I'm on slippery, oh. It's like I'm on like slippery, mossy, grass, rock, ice. Sure, why not? Uh, anyway, very glad to be bringing you guys episode 4. Definitely enjoying myself during this series. Uh, it's been a lot of fun so far, and it's, like I said, quickly quickly jumping to be one of my favorite things to uh, to, to play through. Uh, but I definitely I definitely feel like I'm, I'm missing some stuff, uh, like in terms of like some of the secrets and you know and the and the relics and the artifacts. So I'm going to uh, call on you guys for help. Uh, be sure to point out any sort of uh, secret shiny things that you guys may find, because you know I mean we're already four episodes in and I haven't unlocked anything, and finding these relics is the only way to like unlock special stuff in this game. And I definitely want to do that. I'm definitely kind of kind of a sucker for unlockable stuff and shiny stuff. You know, it, it's that's just how it is. So it's very shiny is good. As I'm a huge fan of the the Firefly series as well. So each time I hear the word shiny, that's that's where my brain goes and it makes me very happy. Gosh, I missed that show. I should watch it again. Anyway, which brings me uh, to basically this next point. Uh, I do have. Ooh, this doesn't look bad. This, this looks weird. I don't, I don't like this. Let's go on. What? You see? We missed stuff! An artifact? Okay, so there was no relics, but an artifact! Where was it? Gosh dang it! Grrr! Right, sorry for the little cut there. Um, I've definitely been having some technical difficulties with this episode in particular. Hopefully I got them all resolved, and here we are at the Lost Valley. And so, and there's wolves here too. Oh, okay, okay, nope, nope, nope. Okay, no, you guys are, no, oh my gosh, you guys are cheating. You guys are cheating so badly. Ugh. Cheap wolves are cheap. Gosh dang it, that hurt. Anyway. So I definitely have a, uh, ooh, a shiny thing. I definitely have a question uh, of the day for you guys, and that is, well, I guess I should probably go into a little exposition for it first. Uh, I've actually been spending uh, some of my time uh, just uh, reading uh, reading some, some fictional uh, books, uh, wherever it went. I used to have it here a second ago, but anyway. So I've actually been spending a majority of my time just reading. Um, and I feel like that's actually becoming like a lost art, and I know this is kind of a weird topic to to go through because we're actually playing video games right now. But yeah, I was I was curious on uh, what your guys' favorite uh, book series was. Uh, I read uh, a great deal of fiction uh, in in my spare time, where I just you know just feel like you know, kind of going outside and enjoying a nice shady spot, finding a book. And actually, one of my favorite book series is the Black Company series, uh, written by Glenn Cook. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Oh, well, that worked out. Uh, I'm definitely a huge, huge fan. I mean, it's, it's, it's a series that spans several books, and I've read all of them so many times. I almost have them memorized, but it's just such a good series. Uh, I also do... Okay, making sure that's my button. Oh, good, it worked. Sweet. So yeah, um, what is your guys' favorite book series out there? If you have any, yeah, do you guys even, yeah, do any reading on your own? 
If so, awesome. Like I said, because I feel like it's like, oh, I don't want to say like a lost art, but it's definitely not as prominent as it, as it used to be for obvious reasons. No, bats! Bats, go away! Go, ow! Ow, go away! I just did it! No, 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 don't, no, 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 and you, ah, go, 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 oh my gosh, nah. Okay, so they don't swim. Nope, don't like it, don't like water, water is bad. Nope, nope, yes, there we go. See, now, now, I see. Stop cheating, there. Gosh, this game is just being mean, all oh, just, it's just all, oh, anyway. Ugh. <sighs> Of course, falling down the waterfall actually reminded me of, uh, of another uh, funny story. Uh, I was actually... I went whitewater rafting once upon a time, and as you guys know, um, I can't swim. So it was a great idea. And just, just flat out... Anyway. Um, so I went whitewater rafting as a... Um, yeah, as a part of a, my, a buddy of mine's bachelor party. <laughs> Fantastic idea. So we all went to... I think West Virginia, yeah, West Virginia, uh, to go whitewater rafting, and um, so we was uh, we had like a, a a girl tour guide, you know, who's clearly been you know doing this, and so she told us that if we wanted, we could all jump out of the the little raft because it wasn't a boat, it was a raft, <laughs> very insignificant raft. Anyway, she said that we could jump out and basically just like feel the current uh, for a little bit before it got too strong and we all had to jump back into the raft. Well, so everybody jumps out. We're all wearing life jackets, so everybody jumps out and, and, and they're all kind of, you know, cat calling me and, and you know, and kind of poking fun and I'm just like, yeah, okay, you know, you know, the, the, the tour guide person's right there, I'm wearing a life jacket. You know, so, so I jump out and just for the record, my buoyancy is about three feet under the surface of the water is when I start to actually float, which doesn't pan out too well, ever. But uh, why would I do that? Why did... Oh, that seems like a terrible idea. Okay, but anyway... Uh, and so I jump out too, and it was... And I will admit, it was pretty cool to feel the current... Uh, even though I was still, you know, taking on water at this point. And then, you yeah, know, the lady calls out and says, Okay, time to go back to the boat. You yeah, know, current's starting to pick up a bit. So everybody who's able to swim, which is everybody except for me, make it back to the boat, and I'm still struggling. I'm, I'm complete toast, like, Oh, no. Do I have to go through there? There's gonna be a big old monster in there. Gosh dang it. And so I actually, um, I'm struggling to get back, struggling to get back, and then I go into apparently what was called like a, a water cannon or something. I think I gotta jump. Oh gosh dang it. Gosh, I hate this. Um, so I go into a, a water cannon, so it's like a little vortex thingy, and it just spins around and then it like sucks me under. Again, I'm in a a life jacket so stuff like that shouldn't be happening uh, but it does and, and so now I'm under the water and I, I, I turn around water for a little bit I have no idea how deep I am but then it just like launches me back out and so I like literally just go flying up out of the water and yeah then I you know it was it was at this point where nobody was really uh, not worried? Uh, how do I want to say this? Yeah, everybody was kind of concerned uh, for, <laughs> for my safety, and so they're all paddling towards me, and then eventually they just throw a rope out when I'm close enough, and they just pull me in that way. And I'm so exhausted from trying to swim that as soon as I get pulled back into the boat, I like collapse, and then 
embarrassingly enough, I collapsed right into the lap of the lady tour guide. And everybody just started just busting up laughing. Uh, and, and we and this is like the first 20 minutes of the ride. Yeah, we still had like another three hours to go. So, I mean, ultimately I do not regret the experience, I want to say, but I definitely suggest if you guys are going to be doing anything remotely along the lines of whitewater rafting or that, you know, anything that has to do with any sort of skill that would be nice to know ahead of time, definitely take the time to learn that skill because, yeah, it's dangerous, darn it. It is very dangerous. So, okay, well, sorry, now now we're back over here and, oh, let's see. Yep, I want to get to here. There we go. But wait, there's there's a thing. I saw a ledge. Do you, do you see it? Right there. I need it. But what's in it? Think it's gonna have anything good? Maybe it'll have a shiny. Shiny thing. Woo! Shiny things are good. A first aid. A first aid kit. And and now I can't even like I can't crawl up out of here. I gotta gosh dang it. I gotta slide all the way back down. I gotta climb all that again. Oh my gosh. Fine. So anyway, uh, if you guys want, feel free to, to post uh, <laughs> very hilarious uh, stories similar to my lovely whitewater rafting experience. Uh, and I, you know, look forward to, to uh, checking in on that, seeing what cool stories you guys got. And I hope you guys are, are doing well. Um, also, be sure to leave a like if you guys are enjoying the series. I definitely enjoy playing through this game, giving you guys content. Gosh, yeah, I, I miss it. I miss it so much. As you can see, we are just acrobatting it up. We are we are just that skilled. And if you guys if you guys want, also um, you know, put some thought into it. But let me know what you guys think about uh, a series to do after this. I don't know how long this game is, but I feel like we're moving pretty quickly. Um, like I said, I'm not doing any research or looking anything up on it, but. Um, Definitely, definitely post uh, what what's you know what's the next genre that we should go into? What's the next game that you guys would like to see? Because I'm definitely all for that input. So I'm I'm definitely excited. <laughs>